Hello YouTube, um, it's another video for this week and I know you guys hear it, right? New music, because I think I use the same songs and instrumentals every week. <clears throat> um, this week I wanted to talk about something I guess could be seen as a little bit more personal, but um, I don't think it's personal, I think it's uh, apparent, even when I talk to my friends when I do commissions. I don't like my art, I actually don't like the way that I draw, I don't like a lot of it. I don't like a lot about it, and I don't, I'm not saying it's like, oh my god, pity me, because I know that my dislike isn't permanent. When I get better, the more I do draw, the more I do sketch, the better it's going to get, but for the time being, I'm not proud of it. It could have a lot to do with self-worth, like uh, my friend says I can be arrogant at times, and I say, I, I mean, I notice it, and I, I'm working on it, but... I know a lot of my arrogance does come from fear, like, oh, but well, this person doesn't like it, so I'm going to be so confident. I don't think it's arrogance. There are times where I've been arrogant people just to make them be quiet, which is not a good answer, but just seem, I just want to be so overbearingly confident that I am, it makes me believe that I'm doing a good job, but deep down I don't feel confident in the way that I draw, I don't feel confident in my artwork. I don't stop because I know practice will continually make me better. I know from the time I started this channel to now that all the people have really started coming now because of the two videos I put out as a recent welcome new people, by the way. Um, it's come to my attention that I just really don't like it. I was in class the other day and my teacher was just, you know, talking. And the professor kept going and he left for a little bit. So I just opened my sketchbook that I flipped through and I was really disappointed what was in there. And I don't think I'm the first person. I think it's just your inner critic. I think it's just my inner critic talking. Like, oh, you know, you could be better. You could be better. And I am, I'm 100% sure that is what happened rather than um, me simply just not liking the way that I draw or that I paint. I, um, I haven't drawn a digital anything within the last few months, within like two months, because I just wanted to break away from it so badly. Like, I've been wanting to do my traditional stuff so badly. And I just... You know, I, I just wanted to get away from digital because I thought I was making it too much of an anchor. And I thought that was the reason why I didn't like my artwork. But I started doing traditional. And yes, I've come to be better with watercolor, but I'm still not like, oh my god, this is amazing. Like I said, I think I only have like two or three pieces of, I think, I said pieces, I want to say pieces of drawings. I think there are two or three drawings that I've done, and one of them is not even with paint. One of them is the man with the shell around his neck. And it came out looking really good. And that's because one day I was just hungry and I was bored and I was at peace. I don't, I don't really like this piece that you see going on right now on the speed paint because this is not what I intended it for and you know I rushed it out and just to make the video because tonight it's Thursday night but I'm not going to be here on Saturday and I'm not going to be able to do this on Friday because I got to make content for Instagram. I'm really trying to make this like work for myself so you know yeah I'm not, I don't want to complain. I don't think my artwork is trashy or shit. I think that it's just not where I want it to be right now. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the fact that it's not like, oh my goodness, this is why. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, I think that, right, I think I want it to be better. But also, you know, as we all know, how do you get to Carnegie Hall practice? You don't just get there overnight. And that's what I kind of want this video about be, to be about. Not to say, oh my God, I'm not good enough. But to say, I know with practice, I will get better. I know that. The more time I put into doing more studies, because I have studies on Instagram that I've done, but they're really old. I don't really record my studies anymore. Um, you know, I know as I do practice my hands and my faces and my doodles, I will get better. And the more that I do put effort into what I'm doing, I will get better. And I mean, unlike many other situations, this one does get better. I know right now I'm not proud of the way that I draw. I'm not happy with my art, period. I'm not in the place where I want to be with my artwork, but I am. I do know, God willing, that I will get better as time goes about. And I know this is not like my final stop on my artwork. I told you this week there'd be a speed paint, so I wanted to have a topic that was honest too. I didn't just want to talk and ramble like I normally do. But I just wanted to come here to say I'm not like the happiest in my artwork yet. And I don't know many artists who are. They can draw in perfect proportion, whatever, whatever. There are some artists more like Picasso looking or more like a Basquiat or something and they they have to feel confident in their work 
because sometimes it's really abstract and not a lot of people understand it. And that, to me, is more interesting than my artwork because all my old artwork was very, like, um, subliminal and symbolic and things like that. And not the things I put on YouTube, but my old sketchbooks when I was younger um, in, like, high school and stuff. So I understand the idea of not being 100% happy in your art. Like, again, this is not going to be my favorite piece of artwork that you're looking at right now. But it is artwork that I did, and I'm happy that I finished it. Like I said, I'm not proud of where my artwork is now. I'm still practicing. I have a whole sketchbook dedicated to studies. Um, and I can say this. I'm not... And like I, th I think I've said it like four times now. I think I'm just because I'm tired. I can say this. <clears throat> I am not proficiently happy with where my art is right now. I would love to be able to paint a perfect portrait. I would love to be able to do that. But I can't just yet. I'm aware that I can come off arrogant, and I apologize if I do. And my friends who see this do know that I'm not proud of where my artwork is. I'm not happy where it is. And I don't think many artists are like, oh my God, I'm here. Yes, God. Like, you know, I feel complete. I think a lot of us go through it, and I'm, I apologize if I come off as arrogant. That's not what I need to do at all. But nonetheless, it's just, I'm not confident yet. And I'm going to keep uploading. I'm going to keep looking back at my old art that I don't like, and I think it's really bad. I'm going to keep looking around and doing good and doing better. And that's what this is for. All of this, going to God's plan, is working according to something greater. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. I know there are other artists out there who struggle with the I hate the way my art looks thing right now. Don't, don't get too deeply invested in that. Just know that if you keep going for it, it will get better. You will get better and you will succeed. But once again, like always, thank you guys again for watching this heartfelt video stay up be blessed and again please 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 have a great day